Hello, I'm David Wamsey, and this video is on animated social icons for Beaver Builder. I've just updated my social icon template, which is part of my free Beaver Junction plugin. Link will be below. And normally with these videos, I will talk a little bit about the CSS that I've used and explain it. But in this case, I'm going to skip over this. And in fact, usually on these pages, I include all of the HTML and CSS or any JavaScript that's needed. Here, I have not done this because because there were just too many examples to cover and I'm likely to change the template as time passes. So I think it will probably be okay if you're not using my plugin, you can just go to the demo page and I'm sure you'll be able to inspect and see any of the CSS that you want to use. So let me just quickly cover what we've got here. So I've got these effects, which I absolutely love these first two and I can take no credit for this. This comes directly from John Milner and his account at CodePen. The rest of the things here though are just my little experiments. So we have this rotate, we have a bit of keyframe bounce on this one. We've got a bit of scaling on these two. Pretty straightforward here with the transition to the brand colors here. Then I'm using some box shadows on this one and box shadow again with a little bit of lift over on this one. This one's a bit silly. I probably should do a proper flip box and we've got some more animation here which I'm not entirely sure whether that works too well as you can see it had a strange little effect there and finally I nearly missed this one out this one where I'm just bringing in the title so the idea behind these templates is that you can drag them into your page take some other code from one and add it to the other until you get what you want the idea of this little block here is that it just saves some time because it's got the references to the icons and the brand color. So you can swap them with other things here for where you might need different social icons. And again, I've done the same thing here by pulling in one of the premium modules. So you won't see this if you're using the light version and it's the group icon module where you can set up all of the icons. Now I haven't put any animation on this. This is just to speed up the time it takes to select all of the individual icons to find them to actually add a name which I'll show you in a minute for screen readers and then find the brand colors. So I thought having this starting point is quicker to delete. So that's what I've done. Okay, let me go over to my dummy site, which is what I usually do, which has a light version of Beaver Builder installed. And I've got my plugin installed and you'll find this under custom rows and social icons here. Now I've already in this case added it because I wanted to show something. So the first thing I should say about these social icons is that they are all using Font Awesome 5. So your page or your theme needs to be calling that for you to be able to see the icons. And if you drag this now into your, this template, you're going to see it because it seems the Beaver Builder editor already calls those icons as it is. So they're going to be showing, but I can just show you now because I've removed other examples. If I just go and publish this, and I'll just need to give it a quick refresh you'll see that the icons have disappeared. So this is not being called at all. Now it's a fairly easy thing to do. I've put a link in here. You can just go here and call this and add this to your theme. But if you're using any of the Beaver Builder icons anyway, it's just gonna automatically do that. Now, let me just quickly mention, you could if you wanted to, if you're just using this in one place, you could just take this link and put it into the HTML modules directly in there. And that's going to work if you're only using it in one place. Otherwise you want it more centrally. Let me just show you that it's used in Beaver Builder quite a lot. So it, if each of your pages um, were using say a button and you put a little icon on that button, then, you know, if all the pages have got that, then all of your pages are going to be calling that particular library anyway. So let me just go and publish to show that is right. So that's an important thing for me to mention. I think I am thinking about doing SVG versions of this. I'll be interested in if whether people want that, whether they want to get rid of having to call in font awesome. 
Um, but uh, I don't know whether to do that as a separate template or whether I'll be adding to this. So anyway, I'd be just interested to know if people want that. Okay, so as you can see, we're seeing all the icons now because Beaver Builder has called it for us on this particular page. Okay, let me go in and let me just mention some of the basic things here. So they have a similarity. These first two are slightly different, but the way that I've done the CSS is the same using Flexbox. Let me just show you first how you might want to change your links. Let me just go into this one. So it's straightforward, and I put it in notes on my page, but I put some links in already, but all you need to do is to swap those out, your URL there, or, or put them in here as you want. And of course, you can just swap out the icons that you don't want by just removing the whole of this and taking that out. And again, this is why I put this in, because it's got these, and you can just swap it for other ones. So that's the very basic thing that you need to know there. Then with the CSS and positioning, let me just go over to the advanced tab and over to our CSS. And the main things that you might want to change is the size of the icons here. So we've set those with a width and the height and where they're rounded, I've put border radius on there. So they're rounded, if not they're square. So you might want to change the size here. The next thing which is going to be common to all of these is that I'm spacing things out with margins here. So we've got a bit of top margin and then we've got right. So this is going clockwise and the rest is zeroed. So it's 12 pixels to the right, creating the space there. And then we've got a top, which reminds me of something else to mention. All of these are using Flexbox to position and center things. And one thing I did need to make a change to on John Milner's was the fact that it's the same using Flexbox, but he didn't put a wrap in it. So all of these have got this wrap. And I'll just show you what that means. What it means is that the Flexbox isn't going to squish up. Now, if I press R here and go to responsive, you'll see that they all fall below each other. If I hadn't put that wrap in there, then they would be squishing up together. And that's where the top positionings come in. So it's creating this space between the next icon, that 12 pixels that I put on the top in the margin there. Okay, and pretty much, I think that is all that I need to tell you on this. I think you'll be able to work out maybe from other videos that I've done how the effects are working and how you can change it. But it's going to be too long a video for me to go into these in detail. So yeah, just write to me if you've got a problem with any of these. I will just mention one other thing which I wanted to check out and I'll be trying to do this on all of my templates at some point is to make sure that they're all going to be accessible so we don't have that issue. So I went and did an accessibility test on this. And it made me think about it because there needed to be a change in Beaver Builder recently. So the icons that they got over here, as you can see, they're all being flagged up as area on this and area hidden for this. And the group icon module, what it does by default is it hides things for accessibility because some of these icons will just be decorative. They don't mean anything. So you don't want screen readers to read them. But when it comes to social icons, it's got a link in it. So really, they shouldn't be hidden as such. And Beaver Builder, to make things more accessible more recently, I think, they added in a way. Let me just show you that. Now, I can't show you on the light version here uh, because, of course, they haven't got that module. But if I go into here, I was just hiding this, I think, and go into the Beaver Builder modules here. If we go into any of these individually, yes, we've got this screen reader text, which is getting around the fact that effectively it's hiding this and then it's bringing it back in for that. But for the rest of it, everything there is um, okay for accessibility. There's only this one issue flagged up here and it's just telling me that the link has just gone before, which of course in proper situ isn't going to be an issue. But other than that, everything is pretty much fine with that. Okay, I think that is all I need to cover in this video. So thank you so much for listening to this. I hope this will be of use to you. If this video was useful and this template, then please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you aren't already. And as it's quite hard to get this content to travel as it's very specific, if you share my content, then I would be very, very grateful. Anyway, I hope to see you in another video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.